I'm here with the newly elected Speaker of the National Assembly, Tandi Mudise. Congratulations, Mum, on your election. Thank you very much. And I just wanted to know how you're feeling at this moment, a historic moment for our country and for you. Anytime you are given a serious position, anytime people elect you, you feel honored. So I'm honored that um, I have been given this task. I will serve to the best of my ability. I will be humble because without the people we are nothing. I come from the old school where we were taught to be servants of the people. And that is exactly where I intend to go back to. Make sure that I listen whether I agree with the debate or not and protect that debate because surely somebody has people out there who say they must be brought in. Mm. But to serve in parliament is to be elevated. To be elevated, you've got to deserve it. And if you don't deserve it, you must at least try and satisfy people who think you deserve it. So I'm going to do my best to serve the people of South Africa as best as I can. Especially because my generation is gone. So at least as we die off, we must do the right things so that our children can have some, you know, images, reflections on people who came before. Mm. So I'm very, very sure that we will do our best. Well, Mum, thank you so much and wishing you all the best for your term. Thank you. Your assessment of today's events in Parliament very quickly. Yeah, look, obviously today is the beginning of, uh, of the sixth Parliament. It starts a new journey. Our job now is to is to shape this country in a way that we, we haven't been able to do so. So, so for us, uh, today, us is an opportunity where we can reset our economy, make sure it's inclusive, make sure South Africans can find work, but collaborate across different races, because it's going to take all of us to build this country. And just lastly, we lost the league, but surely Liverpool's taking the Champions League. I, I'm sure you agree. As I said to the Man City fans, uh, <laughs> Brexit is, is for them. We are you staying know? in Europe. We're going to take it. <laughs> sure. Sure. Spread the fire. I'm here with Minister for Health, Mr. Dr. Aaron Mutsualedi. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, Dr. Mutsualedi. Um, firstly, can you just explain for our subscribers the way the ministry thing works, that you're still in office until the president is officially takes his oath? Oh, oh, yes. that, yes. yes. You know, on Saturday, it's an inauguration of the president right. by the Chief Justice. He's going to raise his hand at the end and say, so help me God. The moment he lowers it, yeah. there are no more ministers. Then your term ends. In the Republic of South <laughs> Africa. Every minister yeah. is out now. Yeah. And the president takes over yeah. all the powers okay. to himself. Yes. And as the president and the minister. Right. Until, until he announces a new mm. cabinet. It usually takes more or less... 18 to 20 hours mm. uh, that vacuum that period it's not a vacuum yeah it's not a vacuum uh, i'm using a wrong word the president takes over the powers right of right. all ministers and do you want to give us any hints as to whether we'll be seeing you again do you, have you had any hints <laughs> <laughs> no not at all this mm. nobody has mm. got a hint on anything yeah. whatsoever well you've been seen as one of the most effective ministers so i think many people will be hoping that uh, you continue well this is politics <laughs> indeed, indeed. And so today we've had the first sitting of the sixth parliament, uh, the National Assembly for the first time today. Tell us how you're feeling, how you saw the mood of parliament. It's a new mix. Uh, yeah, no, well, I think the mood was quite ecstatic. People were happy mm. and generally excited, mm. except maybe at the end with this nomination of speakers, <laughs> yeah. because people don't want to waste unnecessary time mm. sitting here for an election that definitely shouldn't be but that's democracy sure that's democracy i'm just saying everybody knows anc has got the majority mm. and mm -hmm. uh, you know but anyway democracy works that way and it seemed as though the the mood was quite good in the anc caucus this this morning i saw some and and as you've been yesterday and yesterday yesterday the anc caucus was yesterday yes, yes the yes. mood was very high mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. and uh, just finally the the deputy president um has decided not to um take up a seat and has postponed that 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 moment. Um, your thoughts on that? It's it's taken everyone by surprise. Well, it took me by surprise also. I didn't know anything so? about it. 
Wow. I heard about it this morning. Yeah. Like any other person. <laughs> Many people believe we discuss this in the NEC. No, we don't mm. discuss positions in the NEC sure. except the presiding officers. Mm. Mm. But the, 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 the cabinet positions is a no no. Right. Because we can't sit there and discuss ourselves mm. and, and mm. say, I mm. want this one to be there because me, I'm going to be there. So sure. it, nothing was discussed. Yeah. We don't do that. And, and so I had the story like any other person. Well, Dr. Mutsualedi, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Spread the fire. Welcome back to SMWX. And I'm here with Mabine Siabe, who is... Are you going to be the... Are you now the National Coordinator for Communications? Uh, um, I'm the Acting Executive Acting. Director of Communications. Yeah. Acting yeah, Executive yeah, yeah. Director. Yeah, my boss is now an MP. Wow. Yes. Wow, man. And uh, old school friend. Mm -hmm. Do people know this? I don't think they do. <laughs> I think it's find it confusing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. like You guys are friends. You, What's going on? You, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, from, from uh, shaking things at St. John's, here we are at Parliament. There's so. it. Um, bro... You have an inside view on the DA. Um, firstly, just in this sitting, what's it been like looking at the sixth parliament compared to the fifth and seeing a, a completely different composition? Yeah. You know, for instance, I mean, for us on our side, we've got 33 new MPs, uh, which is just over a third um, of our member of parliament contingent, and most of them are young. So there's that vibrancy that, that has come with it. And I was actually commenting with some colleagues yesterday that there's a great sense of co collegiality mm. amongst, amongst, uh, amongst MPs at the moment. And I hope that lasts because ultimately we're here to do the work of the people. Uh, there should be points where we're able to put party politics aside. And even yesterday, our leader was saying that we're coming into this parliament as being a constructive opposition where we'll even work with Silver Maposa where it concerns especially about the economy and jobs because here in the Western Cape, we've shown that jobs can be created under the tough economic circumstances mm. when equally we're going to form an opposition party's uh, caucus where we can work with opposition okay. parties and work on a case-by-case -case basis mm. where we agree mm. on matters. Yeah, I mean, I think you did some really interesting and important stuff in the last administration, especially around corruption. Mm -hmm. Deputy President David Mabuza, mm -hmm. suddenly in the gallery today. Um, mm -hmm. were, were you guys by any chance aware of this? Did it take you by surprise? Yeah, no, no, no. We knew that, I mean, he wasn't going to come mm. through and be sworn today, which shows the kind of tensions mm. that are happening in the ANC. Mm. Equally, um, even the appointments or at least nominations yeah. of people like Tandi Mad uh, Mudise, Sylvia Lucas and so on to be presiding officers mm. and parliament, uh, well, National Assembly and the NCOP is very interesting. It shows that Ramaphosa's hands isn't as strong as we think it is and equally we'll see what his cabinet looks like. If his cabinet is a complete sham and con includes some of the same old people, it, it shows that the new dawn uh, is non-existent and we're in for the same kind of uh, mm. Uh, troubles that we were for the nine ways of years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now some people think they're going to be concurrent battles within both the two biggest parties with some tensions in the DA and the ANC. Yesterday you came out with what I thought was a really strong statement on um, your former leader's tweets on mm -hmm. black privilege. Um, what do you think is we can how can we read the DA going forward in um, in this next immediate period now that the election's done, mm -hmm. uh, the sixth parliament is about to sit? Mm -hmm. You know, many people look at our loss of votes and where we are electorally as a bad thing, but in fact it's created an opportunity for us where we've established ourselves as that party that's in the centre which South Africa so desperately needs, right? And we've got e extremism on the left and the right. We've seen, I mean, the rise of both the EFF and the FF Plus in this past election. But here we are, people have come come on board and said that, yeah, we believe you as being the party that can bring people together and we'll continue working for that. It's not fashionable, it doesn't sell newspapers and so on, but there is that project that's necessary around like bringing South Africans together. And it's not a kumbaya type of principle and philosophy. It's saying that, I mean, we're this diverse country and we have no choice but to work together. So as a DA, we're going to take on uh, that duty of bringing South Africans on board as difficult as it is. Uh, we're going to do it. And you're the official opposition, uh, you play a crucial role in our democracy in that regard. What kinds of things can we expect in terms of an agenda in Parliament mm -hmm. as we uh, approach a new era in South African politics? So, I mean, there was a Business Day editorial yesterday. It was, I mean, pretty critical of the DA, but the closing line was a very important one, saying that the failure of the DA could be the failure of the country. So it's very important that we play our role as an opposition party, not just opposition for the sake of opposition, but constructive opposition, and we'll give inputs uh, where necessary. But 
top of mind, there are almost 10 million jobless South Africans. Our first work is going to be able to table the Jobs Act so we can ensure that jobs in the economy are front of mind of the people of South Africa and this parliament. That's why I said to you that even we'll work with uh, President Sir Ramon Posse ensuring that we can build an economy that works, well not an economy that works, but an economy that creates jobs uh, for people who so desperately need them. Well, look forward to watching all of that and you continue to grow yeah, through that. Thank you, thank you. Sleep, man. Spread the fire. Welcome back to SMWX and I'm extremely si excited to be joined by Mr. Nigel Casey who is High Commissioner to South Africa from Britain. Thanks so much for joining us Thank Mr. You. Casey. And um, I just wondered, you were an election observer at our first, That's right. I saw a very youthful looking photo of you on Twitter. <laughs> um, I haven't changed a bit. And no, I wouldn't say <laughs> yeah, my thoughts exactly. Um, what, what was it like for you 25 years later, having been an observer now as High Commissioner to South Africa, watching our sixth election happen? Well, for me, it was a privilege, obviously, uh, to be here in 94. I think all the cliches about the sense of occasion uh, were true, and it's obviously hard to replicate that uh, ever, let alone 25 years on. But sure. for me, the, the main thing I took away from these elections were about the resilience and the ongoing health of South African democracy, 25 years on, uh, uh, the strength of your institutions. Um, yes, the turnout fell, but then our turnout is, is comparable in, in sure. European elections. Uh, and so that in itself is, uh, in, in a sense, I suppose, a reflection of a normalization. Um, uh, but uh, coming to an occasion like this uh, is a reminder this is a vibrant, strong, healthy, mm. lively uh, parliamentary democracy. Mm. And what's it like visiting parliament, watching as a high commissioner, a different democracies, institutions play out um, from your vantage point? Well, I, I, uh, it's interesting questions as well. I, mm. I don't know if your camera can pan up here, but you asked about vantage points. This building used to be yeah. where we worked. 494, this was our oh. embassy. <laughs> wow. My vantage point was literally that office up there. <laughs> I talk it's about now uh, a Durko building, <laughs> uh, quite rightly. Yeah. Um, but wow, uh, we, uh, so we had a privileged ringside seat mm. at the, at mm. the birth of South African democracy right, right. and um, look for me it's been uh, personally uh, hugely satisfying mm. to to come back now uh, mm. and see uh, see democracy in in, in action uh, 25 years later see what's changed what still needs to be done yeah um, as I'm sure we'll hear today there's you know there's a big agenda but it's, sure. it's a contested field mm. um, but that that's the sort of testimony to the the health of the of the process and uh, it's great to see and just finally in terms of the challenge that South Africa confronts with the sixth administration. What do you think the main things that we need to get right as, as a nation are in this uh, period? I think they're the themes which came out in the election campaign about building a capable state, building uh, and delivering effective public administration. I'm a public servant and I know the value and importance of good institutions because without those, you can't translate your political aspirations into reality. You can't deliver for ordinary people. You can't deliver housing and jobs and start tackling uh, the significant inequality which South Africa faces, which is uh, its main societal challenge. Well, thanks so much for joining us on SMWX. Thank you. Good to see you. Pleasure. Great. Thanks so much. All right. Okay. Thanks. SMWX. No young people are around the decision-making table. Let some new voices come to the fore. Follow us on WhatsApp or catch us live Tuesdays and Thursdays. Out with the old, in with the new. SMWX.